my name is Candice aka Picasso baby and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create your very own thermal body painting if you are new here welcome if you've been here before thank you so much for stopping by to paint with me again um, we have made it all the way to almost the end of August 2021. Um, it feel like this year has just been flying by. And as some of you may have noticed, some of you may have not, um, I did take about a month off just to enjoy my 30th birthday, to really relax, do a little bit of traveling, a little vacation, a little drinking, a little turn up, you know, just some fun stuff. Um, but I am back again. So, Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own thermal body painting. This was actually requested by um, Fat Muff or Fat X, Fat Times Muff, I believe. Um, she requested a nude thermal body painting for um, her birthday. Her birthday was actually in July, so I did miss it because I was taking time off to celebrate my birthday as well. So I'm so sorry. I hope you enjoyed your birthday, but we are going to be doing your request today. A few things that I do have with me today, um, I am going to be working with the same things I always work with, a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I am actually going to be drawing the body out. So I do have a pencil and I have a permanent marker. I also have just a printout of what we want it to look like. I'm going to also insert a video of um, where this trend came from. This trend has probably been around, but it became super, super popular last year when we were all in quarantine. It became popular on TikTok. So I'm going to insert that video. Alright, so a few other things you'll need. You're going to also want to make sure that you have your different size acrylic brushes. I have a few different sizes I'm going to be working with. I also have some paper towel. I have my water cup. And then as far as my paint today, I am going to be using acrylic paint. Um, I'm still working with my regular just um, titanium white. I'm gonna, also going to be using my um, brown and I do have a little goodie from a brand new black owned acrylic paint company. So Skin Acrylic is a paint company that makes paint that makes um, colors for skin tones, especially colors with melanin. Um, but they do have all different skin tones and it's super, super perfect for painting different body types, um, painting portraits of people. And I thought that it would be great today because the painting we're going to be doing is going to be nude. So I have a few different shades of brown that I'm going to be working with from their company. Um, I am going to list their company below so you can find their link. I'm also going to add in a photo of their Instagram so you can definitely go follow them and shop their paints. So the packaging, absolutely amazing. It's so beautiful. As you can see, we have two different skin tones we're working with. We're going to be using Nevea and then we're also going to be using Chloré. Mm, I like that name. I think I pronounced it. Yeah, Chloré. And again, the packaging is super, super nice. And I believe there's something else in here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And shout out to Skin Acrylics for this package. Um, I definitely appreciate you. I can't wait to order some more um, tones, some more paints to work with. And I'm excited to use these today. Oh! Oh my goodness. We have some shirts as well. I love goodies. So this one says... No more starving artists. And, oh, a little canvas bag. So they all say no more starving artists. So that one's a canvas bag. And an apron. Isn't that cute? I love this. I'm actually going to throw this on. um, Because this is perfect. So... And the reason it says no more starting harvest, one big thing about their company is that um, they provide meals for Eastern Michigan University college students. Um, so every purchase 
goes towards helping out provide meals for college students at Eastern Michigan University. So please, please support her. Um, we actually used to work together as artists. We used to teach paint and sip classes together and I absolutely adore her. Renee, thank you so much for sending me these goodies. Can't wait to order some more and I encourage you all to order some as well. Um, so yeah, so you do want to make sure you have your different color paints. If you don't have your skin acrylic yet, you can definitely just use white, black, and any shades of brown because we're going to be creating some different browns to get our nudes. And then of course, if you're 21 and up, make sure you get the beverage of your choice to help you have some fun while we paint and sip. Or if you're like me trying to stay hydrated because it's super, super hot right now, make sure you have your water. I am drinking my water right out of the coldest water bottle today. Um, you can get this water bottle and many other water bottles right on thecoldestwater.com. The link is down below and use code 10 Candice for 10% off of your purchase. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So, I am going to get started by simply drawing out, um, again, drawing out my thermal body sketch. And I am using this photo here. Um, but again, if you would like to use like a different um, shape, you can do it however you like. It's completely up to you. And again, as far as my paints, I have my regular burnt sienna. I have my black, my white. You can really use any different shades of brown that you want. And then again, with my skin acrylics, I am working with the shade Chloray, and then I'm also working with the shade Nevea. So, to get started drawing this out, I am gonna start with my pencil first, and then I'm gonna go back and do, the, um, do it with the marker. I'm gonna start by carving out the outside of the body. So the arms go like right up into the corners of the painting. So I'm gonna start by curving this line in. I wanna curve this in a bit. I'm gonna start to curve it down. And then you can curve out as much or as little as you'd like for the hip area. It's completely up to you. Same thing over here. I am going to start from the, or actually I'm gonna start up a little closer here. I'm gonna start to pull this in and you kind of wanna get them a little bit at the same height. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly, but around the same area. I'm gonna come down. Oh, don't mind that, that dip going in too far. And then I'm gonna curve out so you see i have those curves there and again don't don't worry about that part we're gonna paint right over it if you have an eraser you can erase it completely up to you what i want to do now i want to carve out um the neck and arm areas so i am going to come up so you see how now we have this arm going up here same thing over here. We have that little piece of the neck um, going up. And then we have all of the body here and the little waist and the hips all right there. Now I want to go in and actually draw on the swimsuit or you can consider it like um, a bra and panty set. It's up to you. For the panties, the first thing I'm going to do is do a curve right across here. And then... I'm going to start at this about the same area and I want to create a V and from that V I do want to create a little gap in between the thighs so I'm going to pull a line down here and I'm going to pull a line down there as well if you want your gap to be smaller it's completely up to you I just want my gap to be a little bit larger that way you can really um, see the difference between the legs and they don't start to kind of melt together when I start to paint them in and then from here, I am going to draw a strap and I want to draw it down to like this middle area here. Same thing over here. So I'm just pulling in a little strap if you want to give it a little curve. 
completely up to you now i want to keep this middle piece i want to keep that line like just a line so from there i'm going to move over just a bit and i am going to go outside of the body a little bit and if you can make it as big or as small as you want and i'm going to draw it right back up same thing on the other side only difference is i'm not going to really go too far outside of the body if you want to you definitely can but this one is more so like turned to the side so you don't have to go out as much it's up to you and once you have it like that um and even with those little extra lines don't worry about it too much but once you have it like that now i'm going to go in and i'm going to outline everything with my black marker And I'm only drawing over the lines that I actually want to keep. Don't worry about any of those mistake lines or the lines that kind of go through. So, for example, how the arm goes through there, I'm not going over that line. All right. So, now that we have that drawn on... Um, what we want to get in next is now we want to create those lines that make it thermal. So we're going to be creating in each different area. We're going to be creating five rings and each ring is going to give off that thermal effect. So for the rings, it's not um, super, super important like how you do them. Um, but again, you do want to pick an exact number because you're going to have to do that same number in each area and you do want to kind of make sure that you're sticking to the shape of where it's going so for example this is my neck and chest area here right so i'm just creating that there and from there i am going to be creating four more rings around that because i want it to be five areas so you're just following this shape. So we have one, two, three, and then I'm gonna add a fourth one. Everything around it is the fifth shape. And don't worry about that little hole right there. We we use canvases either way. No canvas gets left behind. Um, so the same way I just did that, I am going to be doing that in each of these areas. So both arms, the stomachs, and the stomach and both legs. So for example, this is the middle ring here. And I'm going to go in and create my other rings. All right, so now that we have all of our rings, I am actually not going to um, do the marker line over my rings. I'm not going to do the marker line over my rings because I don't want it to be too harsh. I want to make sure that I'm getting these pencil lines pretty covered up. So what I'm going to start to do now, I am going to work my way out from the center to the edges here. And... You can use a smaller brush. I'm gonna be using a smaller round brush and I wanna start with my lightest shade. So let's get our skin acrylic paints on here to see. Ooh. Okay. So Chloe Ray seems like it's already a super, super pretty nude. And that's that light nude down there. That's Chloe Ray by Skin Acrylics. And then we have, ooh, we have a little bit of a darker shade. So I would say Nevea is a, more of a lighter brown. Like if I were to mix the white and burnt sienna together, um, I would probably get something close to Nevea. Super, super pretty. Oh, and they, they look super pigmented too super smooth and creamy sounds like i'm describing food but it's really acrylic paint um so the ring in the middle you want that ring to be your lightest ring so what i'm actually going to do i am going to 
take some white and some of my um, some of my Chloe Ray that true nude color I'm gonna take some of that and I'm gonna mix those together because I want to get a really super light shade of this nude and I'm gonna be using that in the middle ring in each area and again as you're doing this part I am using a round brush but you can use the brush color of your choice is completely up to you and I'm gonna do one area first and show you and then we're just gonna go right through the other one so we have four more rings to fill in so I'm actually going to use Chloe Ray by itself this time so I'm gonna use my new by itself and when I put them together you'll see the difference So you see how that Chloe Ray is a little darker than the nude we mixed up with white. And then around that, I am going to go into my Nevea. And then I also have some burnt sienna on my plate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of that Nevea and burnt sienna and I'm going to mix them together to get a little bit of a darker brown. And again, you'll be able to see the difference. For my last shade, I want that to be my darkest shade, but not super dark since my background and everything is going to be black. I don't want to make it too dark, but I do want to go for more of like a chocolate brown now. So what I'm mixing up, I'm mixing up my burnt sienna and a little bit of my black, just a very small amount of the black. And everything that is left in that section, I'm going to be filling it in. This chocolate brown. This just looks so caramely, so nudity. Looks delicious. All right. So, and as you can see, we have that beautiful gradient happening um, and because of the rings it's giving us that really nice thermal um, thermal effect so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna keep using those same colors so again here we have the Chloe the Chloe Ray or the cloak is it Chloe the Chloe Ray the Chloe Ray mixed with white the Chloe Ray right around here which is just that nude then we have Nevaeh Nevea and um, burnt sienna mixed together and then burnt sienna and black mixed together so what you want to do you want to just make sure you wash your brush off and you can start to repeat these steps inside of every other um, inside of all the other rings and I am going to go section by section Alright, so once you are completely finished 
filling in each section of the body, you will start to see the thermal pattern. Um, so as you can see, the only things that are still open are the background and also the top and bottom. Um, so we're gonna fill those in in just a little bit. We do wanna give this some time to dry so that we don't mess up our thermal effect. Um, so I'm just gonna give this a few minutes to dry. While it's drying, always remember this is your time to take a sip. Um, whether you are having an adult beverage or having some of your water, um, it's completely up to you. Take a break. If you don't want to take a break, remember you can always grab a blow dryer and just blow dry everything. That way you can keep moving forward. Um, but once it's dry, we will move on to the next step in just a few. Few moments later. Now that we have our thermal body on there, it's giving me very much send nudes vibes um what we're gonna start to do now is i'm gonna actually fill in my background and my top and bottom set now i am filling mine in with black just so that the thermal pops out more if you want to fill yours in with a different color it's completely up with up to you i'm gonna work with my medium brush first and get my swimsuit fit or top and bottom set whatever you want to call it i'm going to get this field in first and again if you would like to fill it in with a different color it is completely up to you do your thing boo do your thing Alright, so one thing I'm going to also do um, before I actually start to fill in the background, because my background and my set are both going to be black, I want to add a little bit of highlight to my set. That way it still pops um, once I put in my background. So I'm not washing my brush off, I'm actually just adding a little bit of white to it. And I'm going to add some highlights like around the curved areas. And you just want to make sure wherever you're adding your highlight that you follow the shape that is already there. So now that I have that in, I'm going to keep using this brush or you can switch to with like a bigger flat brush and you can start to get the rest of your background filled in. So once you are finished with your background and you have everything filled in, you now have your very own nude thermal body painting. Um, this painting is super, super fun, super easy, and it looks even better once you hang it up. Thank you all so much for painting this with me. And special shout out and thank you to Fat Muff for suggesting this one. If you have any painting suggestions um, for me to do with you all, make sure you leave them down in the comments. Also, make sure you like this video if you're not subscribed already make sure you subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss the next tutorial and don't forget to support skin acrylics if you are looking for the perfect um, skin tone for acrylic paint if you're looking for different shades to use when you are doing paintings of people or things and you're looking for those melanin tones make sure you check out skin acrylics you can find the link to their website below in their Instagram page Page. and also if you would like this kit or many more kits like it you can find them on paintpartydet.com all products will be listed below thank you all so much for painting with me and i will see you in the next tutorial